Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Rajas Kakasungura YouTube channel. A big thank you to each and every one of you for your support towards this platform. God bless you. We are growing. We are at 104,000 subscribers. And to me, that is a great milestone. Even the viewers are encouraging. We are moving to the right direction. Those on X, you can follow me. Rogers Kakasungura Niko Pale. If you reach X, you find a profile photo. Mahal ni mevaa koti. And a tie na white shirt. Alafu kando wapo kuna computer. That is me. Follow me. Let's also build X for proper communication. Ekipchumba Murukomen, the cabinet secretary for transport, issued a statement yesterday, but I feel offended. I feel offended by this statement. I want to read it, and then after reading it, I will come back to give my opinion. 18th July, 2024. Statement on proposed review of the roads maintenance levy. I thank Kenyans across the country for turning up in large numbers to give their views on the maintenance of our roads. It is worth noting that there has been a considerable increase in the country's roads network from 166,000 451 uh, kilometers in 2016 to the current 239,122 kilometers, which require regular maintenance from the Kenya Shillings 18 provided for by the road maintenance levy that has been in place for the last eight years. As a country, we are grappling with a maintenance deficit of Kenya shillings 78 billion this financial year alone. With the current trend, it is projected that by financial year 2028-2029, this financing gap will rise to 315 billion Kenyan shillings. Munataka ya kuiba tena, tunawajua nini. Most of these abandoned roads are under the low volume seal program which have never been maintained in the last 10 years and are on the verge of being wiped away altogether. The roads maintenance level review is therefore intended to fill this gap. From the views we've received, many Kenyans are worried that an increase in the levy will result in a rise in the cost of living. With this in mind, we will analyze the reports received on email and social media platforms, as well as the submissions made today, and come up with a decision that corresponds with the recommendations from the public. We will explore ways of getting the resources we need to maintain roads, as expressed by Kenyans in their numbers, without raising the cost of living through an increase in petroleum prices. As suggested by Kenyans, we will only make this as suggested by Kenyans, we will only make this decision when we are certain that any revenue measures adopted will not result in a rise in the cost of living. Signed, Honorable Kipchumba Murukomen, EGH, Cabinet Secretary. Paragraph, uh, paragraph 2 and 3 caught my attention, and I want to read for you the two paragraphs. It is worth noting that there has been a considerable increase in the country's road network from 166,451 kilometers in 2016 to the current 239,122 kilometers, which require regular maintenance from the Kenya Shillings 18 provided for by the road maintenance levy that has been in place for the last eight years. 
Paragraph 3. As a country, we are grappling with a maintenance deficit of Kenya shillings 78 billion this financial year alone. With the current trend, it's projected that by financial year 2028-2029, this financing gap will rise to 315 billion. Let me say this. I have always noted that the problem in Kenya is not about paying taxes. The problem in Kenya is not about maintaining the roads. The problem in Kenya is the massive theft we are seeing from the civil servants. Right from the president to the cabinet secretaries to the governors to the members of parliament to even MCS in Kenya. That is the biggest disease we are experiencing. If we be very serious and heal corruption in this country, I bet all whatever that, uh, that Kipchumba Murukomen is raising here will be achieved without even raising the levy, he is claiming. Kipchumba Murukomen is alleged though not proven, to be the most corrupt cabinet secretary in William Ruto's government. Why so? Senator Cherarigay a few months ago said, and those videos are online, Cherarigay accusing Kepchumba Murukomen of forcing contractors to give a kickback before they are given road construction tenders. It's in the public. Now, if Murkomen wants a kickback before people are given money to construct and maintain roads, a question to you as a citizen of the Republic of Kenya, do you think the problem lies on the 18 shillings he's talking about, or the problem lies on corruption. Can the Murukomen slash the amount of money is buying watches and divert them into road maintenance? Can the Murukomen slash the amount of money is buying shoes and channel them to maintaining roads? We are being treated into an acted script so that we give these people more money to steal. Sai wa meiba wamewacha empty coffers. They have nothing to steal. Now, they want to blindly increase maintenance levy so that more can be available to steal. Wakenya musi danganywe. Don't be cheated. Don't be cheated. Murukomen is saying that uh, the 18 shillings and the law has been in force for over 10 years with the same cash Uru Kenyatta maintained his roads in 10 years. With this cash and by the way, during Uru's time, the road kilometers increased because that is the time when we had an expressway. So Uru Kenyatta was not immune because even in his tenor, the kilometers increased and Uru Kenyatta never raised the levy. Now, if the road network has increased in one year and a half in William Ruto's administration in office. Why can't they find an alternative just like Uhuru Kenyatta had an alternative to maintain those roads? These guys are clueless and they want to eat from us in broad daylight. We reject, we refuse, we can't allow. God bless you ladies and gentlemen. See you in the next video. Asante Nisan.